Okay, some real talk. There are two types of aspirants watching this video right now. The first kind are those who are going to find themselves in a great business school before the year ends. And then there are the second kind of aspirants who will probably have to take a gap year or take their MBA entrance tests again and try to get into a good business school next year. Now, which group of aspirants you belong to depends completely on you and how you treat this video. Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Priya Chatterjee Ray and I graduated from the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad or IIM, Ahmedabad IMA in 2023. And I have been maintaining this YouTube channel to try to bridge the gap between aspirants and some more successful aspirants. And um, all the videos that I've been putting out is just to sort of garner information and um, send across to you the knowledge that I wish that I had when I was preparing for um, the entrance tests. Um, something that I didn't know at that point in time, but you know because you have me um, crowdsourcing this information for you, is that um, CAT and ZAT aren't the be-all end-all of all MBA entrance um, tests. Yes, it's true that the CAT, uh, all the IM calls are out right now and that the ZAT percentiles are out as well and that they're quite um, weird is what I've heard about most of the scoring that has happened in the ZAT exam this time. And that, of course, is unfortunate. And I um, sympathize with you if you have fallen prey to a bad set of exams that have happened so far. And that means that at this point, you hold a lot of fears about what's going to happen in your life going forward. And, you know, you're torn between the decisions of whether your percentile is good enough to um, get into a tier two, tier three college, if you want to get into a tier two, tier three college at all, or if you want to just take a drop year, um, take a gap year and try for all these MP MBA entrance tests, exams again. Any Now, before you make any of these decisions, there are a few things that you have to consider. Before you decide whether or not to take a gap year or whether or not to drop this year, you have to decide if you're even capable of doing that. Here you will have all these considerations like family pressure, age pressure, maybe you don't want to reattempt the cat again, maybe um, you're too, you've already taken too many attempts and you don't want to keep getting stuck in this rut of taking exams year after year. That means that your other option is to join a tier 2 or tier 3 college right now, but even then you have to consider things like that, uh, the ROI that that college gives you. What is uh, the investment that you will be making in that college and what is the return you will be getting from it in terms of your placements, alumni network, etc, etc. If you ask me, any of the tier 2, tier 3 colleges that you will get with a low CAT score are not worth it in terms of ROI. So what does this mean for you? Does this mean that um, your future prospects are over and you have nothing to do? Uh, because you can't take, retake the CAT and you and I'm telling you that the tier 2, tier 3 colleges are not worth it. Luckily for you, um, this is not the end of the world because I have crowdsourced and found out a few more MBA entrance um, tests that will get you admission into some great MBA colleges with very high levels of ROI that you should consider even at this last moment before you decide to give everything up because these colleges are really worth it. And let's address these one by one. Um, let's start first with the NBSAT or the Narayan Business School Admission Test. Now, this is an online um, proctor exam that serves as the admission test for the Narayan Business School, um, which is in Ahmedabad. Now, as an Ahmedabadi or ex Ahmedabadi myself, I can tell you that this is quite the well-established business school in Ahmedabad, which offers both MBA and PGDM courses. Um, and especially for PGDM, you have PGDM in data science and analytics, you have uh, quantitative finance and you have dual specializations. Now, Narayan Business School is one of India's top 10 private business schools and the third best uh, business school in Gujarat, which is saying something because number one and number two are I am Ahmedabad and Micah, which have had many, many, many more decades of experience in this industry than um, NBS has had. Um, so talking about the exam itself, uh, the exam is conducted two times and I wanted to post this video soon because the registration for the second round of the test ends on the 29th of January with the exact exam taking place on the 4th of February. I will pop up a, a picture with all the dates, important dates on the screen right now so you can take a look at them. Um, it might scare you a little bit thinking that the test is a few weeks away, but lucky for you, the NBSAT is very, very, very similar in syllabus to the CAT exam. And from what I have seen of the questions and after speaking to people who've taken the exam, it is actually at a level of difficulty far lower than CAT. 
um so the exam encompasses quantitative techniques data interpretation and data adequacy vocabulary which is um word meanings basically which you would have done if you've covered that um analytical reasoning which is just logical reasoning and reading comprehension which we already know with the following split of marks across the section i will post up um, a picture of the different sections and what the marks are for each of them um some more points that you must remember about the nbsat is that it is conducted online in a proctored manner so you can just take it from the safety of your home without having to travel anywhere it is a 120 minute exam it is an objective test with multiple choice questions so there is no tita in this and good for you is that there are no penalties for incorrect answer so you can go ahead and uh, do some educated elimination techniques and some educated guesses and hope to score well in the test okay the next thing that you should know about the nbsat exam is that the registration for this is only rupees 1000 which is the lowest um amongst all of the other um mba entrance exams that i'm going to be talking to you about in this video and the only eligibility criteria is that you have to have a 60% aggregate score across all your education levels um yeah so i think that the nbsat is a great exam to consider especially if you are a student who is looking for a good college with a good roi because its average fees is less than 10 lakh rupees and um, this is the average fees for two years is less than 10 lakh rupees and the average salary of one year is almost at par at that and the highest fee and the highest package goes up to almost 20 lakhs which is a great thing okay so it has a very strong academic curriculum and a great network of alumni which is one of the things that you must consider before choosing an mba college you don't have to look at anything else but you must look at the kind of alumni network you have theirs is especially strong especially in the finance category in fact since we're talking about finance their pgdm quantitative finance course has partnered up with ey to be their program delivery partner which basically means that a team of experts from ey um are going to teach you a large part of um the course uh and you will also get the alumni status of um ey in addition to being um, an L L nbs alumni and you will also get the alumni status of ey in addition to being um alumni at nbs um additionally your accommodations are completely industry focused industry based which bridges the gap between prospective um managerial students and the industry itself because you get real world insights and a lot of your um actual on field learning comes to you in the classroom itself which is always a great idea you can take a look at some of the stats that i found about them on the screen and i will add a link in the description box for you to check out the programs and the exam for yourself but you must consider taking the nbsat for its roi in terms of the exam and its roi in terms of um, just being a great college okay um another tidbit which is not mentioned anywhere on their website but which i found out from its students is that nbs of course it says that their programs are not just an educational choice but a transformative life uh, decision and um that's all they mention on the website and they don't tell you why they say that but um after speaking to some of their students have realized that they really really take a great uh, interest in value added program so you have your additional programs like ms um, office and uh, digital marketing courses and personality development courses and training for uh, personal interviews etc so that they really really work on you as a person beyond just academics that really helps you become a more polished and a better version of yourself so it really is a transformative life decision so um i would suggest that you take a look at um nbs and nbsat um that's about nbsat and narayan business school let's move on to the next exam which is mat um now mat is conducted by the all india management association and a lot of business schools accept the mat score but the highest rank or the best one out of this is jbims which takes a maximum of four students every year from here now you think four is such a small number why is priya suggesting this when you think of the number of students who are taking the mat exam which will probably be in the low thousands if if more um getting a a top 4 rank or a very high score out of this is not going to be so difficult so it's a, it's a they're great odds in terms of um getting into a good business school 
um, the test can be taken in a computer based paper based or inter internet based mode depending on your preference it is conducted four times in a year so that's september december february and may so the february and may exams are coming up and the last date for the registration of the paper based test is the 20th of february with the test being held on the 25th and the computer based test registrations closes on 5th march with the test being held on 8th march now there are multiple slots available for the internet based test so i'm just going to pop up a picture on the screen of the important dates you can take a screenshot um so this gives you enough time to prepare for the actual exam which is two and a half hours long with 200 questions split between five sections um the sections are language comprehension intelligence which is basically logical reasoning and critical reasoning mathematical skills data analysis and sufficiency and indian and global environment um, there is a negative marking of minus 0 0.25 for every wrong answer now the syllabus is very very similar to cat with the addition of the indian and global environment section which is like that it is a gk based section but lucky for you it is not used in calculating your final percentile so if you're not very good at it it's fine um, the application fees is 2100 for one attempt and 3300 for two attempts um, there, there is no eligibility cutoff or cap on the number of times that you can take this exam but your scores are valid only for one year so you should keep that in mind moving on to the final exam that i have for you this is cmat and cmat is conducted by the national testing agency and used for admissions to over 1000 plus aict approved colleges like gim goa great lakes jbims again kj som etc now the exam is conducted either in april or may so you have a lot of time left to prepare for this exam even if you had no preparation in terms of cat this is the time that you brush up your skills and really work hard for this upcoming exam and it is a three hour long online test. There are 100 questions, again, split between five sections of quantitative techniques, logical reasoning, language comprehension, general awareness, and innovation and entrepreneurship. You have the same negative marking of plus four minus one for every wrong answer. And the registration fees is usually around 2000 rupees for male candidates and 1000 rupees for female candidates with a minimum eligibility criteria of having 50% in your graduation course. Um, yeah, so that wraps up all of the exams you can take now before you call it quits on your MBA journey to get into a good B school this year. There's the NBSAT at 1000 rupees. There is the MAT at uh, 2100 rupees and there is the cmat at either 2000 or 100 or 1000 rupees depending on your gender um and uh, of course i've already mentioned all the details before make sure that you sign up for these um exams and that you really put in a lot of effort at this stage before you call it quits or before you decide that getting into a business school is not for you um we had a professor on uh, campus who always used to say it's not over till it's actually over so till you have exams left and till this academic year in business school start, I don't think it's over for you. So please, if you have it in you, if you want to make sure that you get into a good business school, make use of these opportunities, take these tests and um, get admission into some good business schools out there. Yeah, so make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Um, all of the good stuff. Uh, make sure to leave a comment if you found this video helpful and if you want more such videos. Um, and uh, I will pin a video in the description box or here somewhere, which is a link to a video that I had done where I had discussed the different business schools you can apply to based on low cat percentiles. I think I'm st I started at 70 percentile and I went right up to 95 percentile. So you can take a look at that if you're interested in tier, tier two, tier three colleges right now. Yeah, and make sure to check out the Narayan Business School through the link in the description box. And I will see you next time.